complex number. The standard form of a complex number is A plus BI, where A and B are real numbers. The letter A represents the real part of the complex number, and the term BI represents the imaginary part of the complex number. The imaginary unit I is defined as I equals to the square roots of negative 1, or we call Z negative 1, where I squared is negative 1. Using the imaginary unit I, we can express the square roots of any negative number as a real multiple of I. For example, Z negative 16, we can separate as Z 16 times Z negative 1. As we know, set 16 equals to 4 and set negative 1 equals to i, so we have 4i. Power of i can be simplified. Therefore, i, as we know, equals to square roots of negative 1. i squared, we have negative 1. And for i cubed, I can write as i times i squared. I squared equals to negative 1. So we have negative I. Same goes to I power of 4. I can write as I squared times I squared. Negative 1 times negative 1. So we have 1. Adding or subtracting and multiplying a complex number. Because a complex number is a binomial that is a numerical expression with two terms, arithmetic is generally done in the same way as any binomial, which is by combining the like term and simplifying. Now look at the example. Given z1 and z2 as a complex number, find z1 plus z2. Z1 is given as 3 plus 2i and Z2 as 4 plus 5i. To add a complex number, we add the real part 3 plus 4 and the imaginary part 2i plus 5i. For the, Im for the real part, we have 7 and for the imaginary part, we have 7i. Same goes for the subtraction. For example, B, we have a multiplication of two complex number, z1 times z2, as z1, 3 plus 2i, times 4 plus 5i. We expand the multiplication of binomial. 3 times 4, we have 12. 3 times 5i, we got 15i. 2i times 4, we got 8i. 2i times 5i, we got 10 i squared. As we know, i squared equals to negative 1. So by substitute, the value we got 12 minus 10 plus 15i plus 8i. So we add or subtract the same like term. For the real part, we got 2 and for the imaginary part we got 23i. Uh.